Hi guys. Today I'm going to show you an art project um, that has to do with a very famous artist. I'm going to tell you a little about a little bit about this artist, and and then I'll show you something that kind of represents his style or one of his styles. So this guy's name was Pablo Picasso. He is from Spain. He was a Spanish. He was born in Spain. He studied most of his art in Spain. And he was born in 1881 and died in 1973, so he was about 91 years old. He learned how to do most of his art originally very young from his father, and then he went to art schools and things like that. But he, um, he went through a, a period of time where he invented a way to do art that was called cubism. And if you look closely at this picture, you can kind of see where it actually is a, a portrait of somebody. And there's a person in there at the bottom you can kind of see their hands are crossed and then you you have to look closely to find nose and eyes this type of art was called cubism because of the the different geometric shapes that you see within it but um he invented that and he did a lot of his work that way even though he could paint and draw very traditionally where things looked really realistic he after a while started to do things like this and one of his very famous things um, involved a portrait in which you, um, a lot of his work, the facial features that were partly cubism, where there were like geometric shapes, the features for the face, the eyes, the nose, and mouth, weren't always in the place that they should be. They were kind of mixed up. But you could still tell it was a face, and sometimes you could still tell if it was sad or if it was happy. It was pretty incredible, right? So instead of having realistic pictures, people were able to see something a little bit more creative. He took some risks that way. He also went through a time period where he painted everything in blues, all different colors of grays and blues and blacks, uh, because he was really sad. He went through a really sad period of time. And the, it's called his blue period. And everything he did was in blues. Right. So what we're going to do is kind of fun. Um, you can use any colored kind of paper, it can be white or whatever you have, and start with pencil. And then I use oil pastels because they show up really well. You can use crayon though or marker or something like that, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do, and you have to ignore that you're gonna be, it, it will end up being a picture of a face, but you're not gonna put everything where it belongs. So you're gonna be moving your paper quite a bit. And we're gonna start with the features of the face. Instead of drawing the head first, we're gonna draw one eyeball, okay? And it's not going to be where you would think it would be. So you pick a space where you think you want the eye. Okay, I'm going to put an eye here. All right. And then I'm going to turn my paper and I'm going to make a different kind of shaped eye and I'm going to put it over here. I don't want it right on the edge of the paper because we will eventually make a head. All right. And I'm not drawing any details to those. Yet, you just have two eyes, okay? Now I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna do a nose, okay? And I'm gonna choose to do my nose over here. Actually, I'm gonna do it up here. All right, so I'm gonna do a nose that's kind of like a side view of a nose. Like that, with kind of a dark spot for the nostril. So we'll be coloring these in later. So I have a nose, two eyes. Right? And the only thing I'm missing is my mouth. I'm going to do my mouth down here. So I'm going to kind of turn my mouth so that um, it's not exactly straight. And I'm going to make lips. And I'm going to make teeth. Okay? So, it doesn't quite look like a face yet. Alright, I'm going to decide which way I want my paper to go. I think I'm going to make it go this way. And my next thing is to draw a shape around it. It's gonna end up being my head. And then my neck underneath it. Okay, I'm gonna put my ears on, but I'm gonna put them kind of crooked. Okay. And I might choose to make some eyebrows above my eyes. All right. And I will do some hair, but I'm just going to do that with the color. Okay. 
So my first thing I'm going to do when I color it is I'm going to start with the the skin color I want to use, and that's up to you. You know how dark you want to make that. I'm going to use this peach color, and I'm going to take the wrapper off, just like the box of crayon story with the peach wrapper off. Um, and I'm going to color in the skin all the way around. Okay, so I have my skin color done. All right, I'm going to choose a, um, a color for the eyes, and I think I'm going to do um, blue eyes. All right, and the way you do that is you're coloring the iris, which is the, the shape around the pupil, right? I'm just going to do both my eyes the same this way. So you could do two different eyes. Right. I'm actually going to add a little green in there. You don't, you want to try to cover up your paper underneath so it doesn't show through. And then I'm going to use my black for the pupil. And I'm going to leave a small little spot of white. Makes it look, the, uh, make, makes the eye look like a little bit more real and kind of wet looking. Okay. And I'm not so far. I'm also going to trace around my um, my eye shape like this so that the eye shows up really well, which you have to do if you're using oil pastel, you have to do with the edge really carefully. Oops. Go around that too. And then my eye will show up and I can choose to do that with my eyebrows too. Okay. I could even make eyelashes if I want to. Okay. Yeah, it looks a lot like a girl. It probably will if I put lipstick on. I put some lipstick on her. All right. If you don't, if you if you're making a male, um, usually their lips are not going to be as bumpy or as, as vibrant, and you're going to have uh, it. If you want it to look more masculine, you just kind of use a peach color for their, their lips. This one looks like she's not very good at putting lipstick on. All right, now I'm gonna also put, I'm gonna go around that with my black too so it shows up nice. I kind of outlined and the teeth outlined so that they show up. Okay, and then my nose, I'm just gonna do with, with my black so it shows up. and show my my nostril a little bit there okay I'm also going to decide on my hair color I think I'm going to use a mm, I don't know what I have here you can do anything here oh I have a brown so I'm just going to do some brown on my hair I'm going to make it curly And it comes down around her forehead a little bit, and I'm actually gonna trace around this a little bit too, so it shows up around my chin, my cheeks. Okay, and then you have a really silly face that looks like a Picasso face. All right, always sign your artwork here in the corner. This is another version I did with a black piece of paper, right? And it has just this goofy thing, right? Kind of shows up really nice, okay? And they're just goofy. You could try to make it look like somebody in your family. You could do like a picture of everybody in your family this way and then put them all together. It'd be kind of funny, right? So that is Pablo Picasso, very famous artist. Have fun.